Hi guys, I am Ayusha, a mentor for law entrance exams and welcome to Law Digest. As you can see on the screen in this video, we are going to discuss legal current affairs for the month of December 2020. So just in case you haven't watched the videos before this, then either you are not a subscriber to this channel or you have not pressed the bell icon. So to get more updates like this, to get access to more videos like this instantly, do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for automatic notifications. Let's start with the first case. Here we are looking at the initiation of contempt proceedings against Rachita Taneja. Who is she? She is a comic illustrator and she has these comics by the name of Sanitary Panels. So, KK Venugopal, who is the Attorney General of India, he has granted consent for initiating contempt proceedings against her and Supreme Court finally issued a notice to her because of the fact that she has depicted Supreme Court in her series in a glove with the hands of a ruling party that is BJP with the hands of BJP on it to basically imply that the Supreme Court is running in the hands of BJP and BJP is influencing the decisions of Supreme Court and that is why the Supreme Court has issued a notice of contempt against her. Then moving on to the next one, Skill Loto Solutions versus Union of India. In this case, basically, the Supreme Court has reiterated the importance of Article 32. Article 32, as we know, as Dr. Ambedkar said, that it is the heart and soul of the Constitution. And various judgments have repeatedly held that Article 32 is the most important article of our Constitution because it basically leads to enforcement of our fundamental rights in case there is a violation. So why this case is important? One, because of the fact that it is reiterating what Article 32 is, that it is an important and integral part of the basic structure of the Constitution. Further also, you need to know if you are preparing for any law entrance exam. So you need to know the fact that what is exactly contained in Article 32, what is it for? It is for enforcement of your fundamental rights. If this article is not there, your fundamental rights will be ineffective. Then certain writs are covered. You should study about those also. The five writs that are there, you should know about every writ, what is there in it. Then further, this uh, judgment has said that Article 32 is meant to ensure observance of rule of law, that no man is above law. And also it provides for enforcement of fundamental rights, which is the most potent weapon. So that is why this case is important. Then the next case is Union of India versus Association of Unified Telecom Service Providers in India. So what happened in this case was that the constitutionality of Maharashtra socially and educationally backward classes, that is Maharashtra SCBC Act of 2018 that was passed recently, that was challenged. This act did what? It provided for reservation for quotas to Marathas in jobs and education. So earlier, a three-judge bench was constituted and they had put a stay order that you cannot make any appointment and admission under this quota. And this matter was then referred to a larger bench, which also said that we are not going to interfere with this stay order that's already there. So now this constitution bench of Supreme Court will decide to hear this matter from the 25th of January to understand, to see whether this act is constitutional or not. Then moving on, state of Uttar Pradesh versus Muzhat Parveen. In this case, what happened was that uh, Allahabad High Court passed an order that quashed the detention order of Dr. Kafil Khan under National Security Act. National Security Act was imposed on Dr. Kafil Khan. There is, there is a whole lot of controversy behind it. You can uh, read up on the internet if you want to on this. And the Allahabad High Court had passed an order that he cannot be detained under the NSA Act. And what did the Supreme Court further say when the matter went in appeal? The Supreme Court said that they will not interfere with the order that is passed by the High Court. And the Chief Justice of India, he already said that it is a good order and we do not wish to interfere with it. Then moving on, Vidya, Dharolia and others versus Durga Trading Corporation. So in this case, what was held is that there was an earlier judgment of 2017 Himangani Enterprises case 
where it was held that all the landlord tenant disputes that are there they are not arbitrable arbitration is a mechanism is a dispute resolution mechanism which is like an alternate remedy where an arbitrator is appointed and outside court settlement takes place so arbitrator is an independent person appointed by both the parties that are involved together and he decides the dispute so in this judgment what happened is that the court overruled its earlier judgment and it held that landlord tenant disputes are arbitrable except if they are covered by any specific forum that was created by rent control laws and the court said that the landlord and tenant disputes they are arbitrable because the transfer of property act it does not basically forbid or foreclose arbitration it does not really provide an embargo against arbitration in case there is a dispute between landlord and tenant and these disputes are now arbitrable that is all you need to know about this case then next is that supreme court has observed that fundamental right to health now this will fall under your article 21 as we know that article 21 is a very wide right and a lot of rights are included in article 21 so that is why here it says fundamental right to health so your right to life does include your right to health now the supreme court has said that this right includes your right to have an affordable treatment so what the court has suggested it has said that either more and more provisions the state government needs to make or the local administration or you can put a charge of the fees that is charged by private hospitals which can be in the exercise of powers under the disaster management act because at present covid situation is going on so you can use disaster management act to basically put a cap on the fees that can be charged by private hospitals or you can make more and more directions the government can make more and more directions to regulate the functioning of these hospitals so that everyone can have access to basic treatment so with this we come to the end of this video we covered all the important judgments or the directions of the supreme court that came in the month of december further if you want to have access to more such judgments and more directions bills acts that are being passed in this particular month or in all the months from the period of june 2020 to 21 what you can do is you can log on to our website subscribe to our course for legal current affairs and there you will get access to all the judgments that are being passed by the supreme court and also any other legal issues that keep coming up in the country and if you have any doubt with respect to this particular video you can leave a comment in the comment box